Hey guys, welcome back. So, tonight we're gonna talk about C3PO eyes, which is, I know, super exciting to everybody who is not into C3PO stuff, but this could be something that might help you on a costume if you have something with uh, very small eye holes that you need to look out of. This, what I'm doing here might be helpful. So, if you're into that, pay attention. If not, just leave, it's fine. Uh, this is directed to a lot of C-3PO builders that want to wear this costume. Um, anyway, let me stop rambling and get to the point. So this is the face that I've worn for for a while. For almost any picture, if you've seen me as C-3PO, this is the face that I'm wearing in those photos. Um, and you can see the eyes. You can see the little holes there, if I can line them up, that I look out of. And these work really well. I modeled these either uh, late... 2011 or early 2012 and I had them printed at Shapeways and they have, they're just a 3D printed part. They've been in here ever since. They work awesome. They're nice and light and they look they look correct, which is good. You can see the holes there they look out of. So um, I was going to make some more eyes for the new suit. I'm working on new pieces right now that should be ready to wear soon. I have a new face here that is uh, in progress, almost almost ready to be worn. And I want to make new eyes. And I considered just 3D printing a new set of these. But I did a costume a few months ago that was a robot. And it had this big light in the middle of its face. And the performer had to be able to see out with this light in the front of the face. So I came up with this design that worked really surprisingly well. Like when you wore the helmet, you could actually see quite a bit through this tiny little opening ring around the actual eye light. So on camera, it looked like the light took up the whole ring, but there was actually a little opening around the sides. And the way that I designed the interior part of this, it was sort of uh, cone shaped and you could see out really well. Uh, and I was like, man, I bet this would work on C-3PO's eyes to help improve the visibility if I like kind of reverse the design. So, I took a stab at this, and this is what I've got. Now, these are printed in black, which obviously isn't going to show up as well on camera, but you can see the hole. basically looks the same. Let me hold this up here. So, you can see the holes in the eyes there. There's the holes in the eyes there. So, externally, they are almost identical. Like, these actually might be a tiny bit more accurate. I fixed a little thing that I didn't do wrong here, but I did it better on these. But anyway, I digress. Um, they look the same externally. They will light up the same. Everything will work the same. But on the inside, let me take one of these out. I've got tape on here because uh, I made these about a half millimeter smaller just so that when they're painted, then after the paint is on, them, they'll fit snugly. Like right now, I need a little tape. Just ignore the tape, okay? Um, so externally, they look about the same. But on the back, instead of having a little tiny tube that you look through, there is a cone shape that goes uh, through to the hole, which means that you get, a, if your eye isn't perfectly aligned with the little tube and it's a little offset, you still can see quite a bit. And to give you an example of kind of how this is working, um, this is a, a toilet paper tube, and this is kind of what it's like to look through C-3PO's eyes. I tell people if they want a good facsimile of what it's like to see through C-3PO's eyes, to look through two toilet paper tubes, and that's pretty much what the field of vision is like. But here's the problem. So when you're looking through, you have the hole, which would be the front, and then the hole at the back, and then, you know, it's obviously a tube. But it's the second you start to get off kilter with the front of the hole, even just a little bit, you can see the back of the hole starts to um, block the field of vision really quickly. And that's what happens in the 3PO eyes. So if you're not lined up just perfectly, that's all you see is that little tiny little hole. If you're not lined up just perfectly, you start to lose 20, 15, 20% of your vision if, you know, and if something's a little over to one side, you can't even see it. So the concept is like this. So instead of looking through this way, you're looking through this, which basically the holes here are the same size, but you'll see if I turn this just a few degrees, now you can't see out of the front. But this, I can turn it almost 45 degrees and you can still see through that hole in the front. So it basically opens up the field of vision. So if you're not dead center, it's, it doesn't obstruct your eyes nearly as much. And it works surprisingly well. So I've given these a bit of a test and uh, I'm really, really happy with the design. Um, and another thing that I've done here, I'm going to pop the back out of this so we can have a look. 
These just fit together. All this stuff is printed on my printers back here. They were printed on the Prusa, which is over here with this thing on it right now. Um, here's here's the, the grill part. And you can see I've put some little notches here, which is something I saw on one of the screen used eyes. Not all the screen used eyes have this, but there's a set that have this thing here where the wires for the lights come out through the flange. And I thought that was a kind of a neat design. So I replicated that. And on the inside, hard to see, there's some little keys so that the back piece will line up. So this is the cone-shaped piece in the back. You see the little, little inverted cone there you can look through. And these little notches here correlate with the notches in the back of the eye grill, which this is printed really low resolution as a test. And um, the LEDs will snap right into the eye light, in, in the eye light. The, the LEDs will snap right into the back of the um, translucent part. And then when this closes up together, they line up with the, the grooves in the back. So they close really nice. Now, this isn't a final design, but this is something that works. I feel like it works pretty well. And you can see everything closes up together. And then the the little um, connectors for the LEDs will come through the guide holes on the edges so that the back of the eye is nice and flush. And then your little wires will come out of the side. Now, this is assuming you're going to wire your LEDs uh in parallel with each other. So you, each one would have its own set of wires that goes to the positive and negative connections uh, versus a series. And I think that I'm going to redesign this so that the lights are in a series and it only has one connector off of the top. So inside there's only one little wire that comes out. I think that's a, a more elegant design, but uh, that'll be in the next iteration. I'm going to post these on Thingiverse so you guys are free to grab them. And as I do new versions, I'll just post them uh, for whatever anybody wants. I don't think I'm going to replace one of the old ones unless there's like a major design flaw. Um, but I will post this guy uh, probably tonight. So check the links below. If it's not there yet, it'll be there soon. And then you're free to grab these C-3PO eyes. Um, let's go take a look at the 3D file real quick and just show you how, you know, my, my train of thought there in a nice clean version. It might be a little easier to see than this black 3d printed part and we'll be right back so here we have the design in cg space and you can kind of understand maybe a little bit better what is happening here blown up huge like this so here we have our outer grill piece which i will hide grill and then we have our glass which i think if you're going to print this this would be a really good print in clear resin on the Formlabs printer and on the Form 2, this I think would come out really good. I printed this in some translucent filament on the Prusa. It's not fully clear, but I think I'm gonna clear coat the outside and just see how it looks. But I'll probably end up doing the final version on the Form 2. And you can see how the holes go through here for the lights. Now, I'm also going to examine some other LEDs and see if I can find a smaller option that fits in here just a little bit better. Um, we'll turn off the glass, and here's our back piece with the notches for the LEDs and the notches that meet up with the keys in the grill. You can see the little the little key pieces here where the keys together. There's the inside of our grill. Clear uh, backing, and then the back. So you can see even on the on the computer that your field of view is improved. Now you still have to compete with these grills in the front. And in a future version, I may shorten the depth of the grills by about a millimeter. Right now they're five millimeters deep. I may make them four, just to bring the eye hole a little closer to the front. I think that even that is gonna help a little bit. But um, if we were right here with the, the tube in the back, we would not be able to see out at all out of there, which is you know, uh, a pretty big difference. So there we have it. Let's go back to the shop. Okay, hopefully that was a, a little bit better explanation, or at least visually speaking, than looking at these 3D printed parts that are kind of hard to see on the camera. Um, yeah, I, I am really happy with how much more I can see with this setup. I don't know if it'll help everybody, but I definitely like it. So feel free to download it. The link will be in the description below. If it's not there yet, it'll be there soon. I'm going to 
try to upload these before I post this video. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and if you're building a 3PO and you try these, let me know how they work. And if you're making another costume, you have tiny little eye holes and this might be a design that helps you and you use it, let me know. I'd love to, to hear about that. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here and go make more stuff. And I'll be back soon. Thanks for stopping by. See you guys soon. Bye.